Here is the opportunity to move to Canada. So if you're interested in migrating to Canada, the Canadian government just extend a new pathway. It's not new, but I mean, they extended it and I think they made it a lot simpler now for those interested to move to Canada to migrate via this pathway. So this is what I'll be talking about in detail. So sit tight, relax, and let's get straight into it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Faith Ojone. And on this channel, I talk about ways you can travel abroad and settle abroad. I share resources on how you can get started. And I share latest updates concerning the UK, how you can move and settle in the UK and the new policy, new changes happening in the UK. And I also share story time. If these are the kind of content you'd like to see, then do hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I share content like this. Without saying so much, let's get started. So the Canadian government know that it is crucial to help the agricultural and food sector find the workers it need and make sure that Canada food supply system is strong. So Canadian farmers and food processors need skilled workers to be successful. The Minister of Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship shared some good news. The Agri-Food Pilot Program, which started in May 2020, will be extended until May 14, 2025, which is amazing. This pilot program makes it easier for workers with experience in agriculture and food industry to become a permanent resident in Canada. It helps them to transition from temporary work to living in Canada permanently. So the minister also announced that some important changes to make things easier for both employers and job seekers. One of the big change is that they will no longer be limited on how many candidates can apply for specific job under this pilot program. This means that more eligible candidates will have a chance to apply for those jobs. The Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship in Canada plan to make more changes to the pilot program throughout the year. Here are some of the changes they will introduce. One, family members of all participants in the agri-food pilot program we have access to open work permits regardless of the participant's job skill level this means that family members can also work in canada so if you move to canada via this pilot program your family members can also work in canada which is amazing unions will be able to confirm a candidate's work experience instead of relying solely on employer reference letter. This will give candidates more flexibility, improving their work experience. The third one is that applicants who are already living in Canada, we have the option to meet either the job offer requirements or education requirements. They can choose to show that they have a job offer that meets certain conditions, such as the salary, or they can prove that they have the required education through and educational credential assessment. The fourth one is that work experience gained under an open work permit for vulnerable workers will be accepted as well. This means that more workers who are in a vulnerable situation will have a chance to qualify for the program based on their work experience. I mean, these changes are designed to make the pilot program more inclusive and provide more opportunity for candidates to participate. This is amazing. They're making it a lot easier and inclusive. These changes are really important because the ongoing need for workers in industry like meat processing, mushroom farming, greenhouse, crop production, and livestock raising. So these industries have always struggled to find workers especially those who can work full-time throughout the year and this change also will benefit applicants and their families by making the process easier and reducing obstacles this means that more people will have a fairer chance to participate in the program the change creates more opportunity for experienced workers in these industries to become a permanent resident of canada this is great because it allows them to settle in Canada and contribute to the country's economy in the long run, which is beneficial to 
I mean Canada as a whole. The Agri-Food Pilot Program works alongside other immigration programs in Canada. So these programs include the Atlantic Immigration Program, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, the Caregiver Pilot, the Global Skills Strategy, Express Entry and Provisional Nominee Program. These are all pathways that you can move to Canada via. You don't have to use Express Entry. There are a lot of other programs that can help you migrate to Canada so if you are interested in moving to Canada I would say that you should do your research and look at other programs and see where I mean which one you fit into I mean do not just focus on the express entry but again it's your decision to make I mean having other options make it a lot more easier and quicker for you to migrate to Canada so all these programs aim to address the specific skills and labors that Canada need in the agriculture and agri-food sector so at the same time they provide an opportunity for workers in this industry to make Canada their new home and contribute to the country's economy so another quick fact you should know is that the agriculture and agri-food industry play a significant role in Canada's economy I mean in 2021 Canada sold around 82.2 billion worth of agriculture and food products to other countries I mean these products include things like crop fish seafood processed food Canada is the fifth largest exporter of agri-food and seafood globally so I mean this is huge if you are in this sector Canada need you. I mean, you need to hop on this opportunity because it's now to 2025. So you have more years to start your process. Remember, it takes a while, so it's good to just start it now. Again, in 2021, the country shipped products to more than 200 countries. So this industry is also a major employer as it provides jobs for about one in every nine workers in Canada. So in total, approximately 2.1 million people were employed in the agriculture and agri-food sector in the same year. There's a huge chances of you getting this program because Canada is thought like the largest importer of food. This opportunity is literally for everyone. Do not sleep on it, okay? The pilot program, which will last for five years, is designed to specifically support the agriculture and agri-food industry. It collaborates with employers in this sector and offer a way for temporary foreign workers who have already worked in the industry in Canada to become a permanent resident. So this program aims to meet the need of the industry and create a pathway for those workers to stay in Canada permanently. I mean the UK needs to learn from Canada because yeah temporary worker visa for those in the agri sector is only yearly so that's to say from October you can start applying to the UK to come and work in farm poultry and all of that and in February you need to go back to your country does it even make sense like who would want to be coming to the UK every three three months yearly so Canada is making it like you have the opportunity to move to Canada it's as a farmer and you become a permanent resident and you can even go move with your family which is not the same as the UK. I love their process and I love the way they are creating their pilot program because at the end of the day, no matter how you move, you get to become a permanent resident. Instead of channeling your energy to want to come to the UK as a farmer, channel it to Canada because you get to remain in Canada permanently. The pilot program will process a total of 2,715 main applicants every year. The pilot program includes specific jobs and industry that are eligible. These include making meat products such as retail butcher, industry butcher, farm supervisor, specialized livestock worker and food processing laborer, engaging in greenhouse industry and floricultural production including mushroom production. This involves farm supervisors, specialized livestock workers, general farm workers and harvesting laborers. So working in animal production excluding aquaculture. Please note that since Quebec has its own immigration selection process, applicants under the agri-food pilot need to plan to live and work outside of Quebec once they receive their permanent residency. So if you are a farmer or you have experience in the agricultural industry, once you have the experience and you can prove this, this is the best pathway for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to the 
agri-food pilot program pathway in the description box below so you can go and read about the requirements i've stated some of the requirements for how you can go about it then i'll leave a link to the agricultural like industry in canada that are recruiting you just need to follow the whole um, process and how you can apply make your application and Canada here you are I feel like this is amazing and this is good opportunity for those in the farm sector the agricultural sector for them to be able to move to Canada remember you can move with your family and you can also become a permanent resident this is not a temporary pathway this is a permanent pathway they are going to be changing more rules around it um, according to what the minister mentioned and they're also making it a lot easier and also making it inclusive for people who are vulnerable to also apply so thank you canada for being inclusive i mean i hope this information has been helpful because guys we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful you know what to do give it thumbs up i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section do you think that you'd want to give this a chance are you a farmer watching this do you think that there's opportunity for you to move and would you be interested in starting your process i'd like to know your thoughts down below comment it down below and share this video with any farmer or anyone in the agri sector you don't necessarily need to be a farmer if you understand the agricultural sector those of you who study agriculture in the university i mean this is a huge opportunity for you to be able to move to canada so Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.